the radio widget. On the screen, we have two selectable item using the radio widget. To create something like this, we start with a list of string called options, which have the option one and two. Then we create a string current option, which will be the option number one. In the column widget, we create a list style. The title will be option one. The leading will be the radio widget. The value is the option zero which means the option one. The group value will be the current option and the unchanged will return a value which we can use to set state and set the current option to the value dot to string. If the value and the group value is the same, then the radio button will be activated. So now let's create the second option. We create another list style, the title option two, the leading radio, the value is the option one, which means it will be the option two. And then you can add the group value, the current option, which is the variable we created. The unchanged will return the value that we set state to set the current option to the value dot to string. Like this, you have created two radio widget.